Hey guys, Fillers Fillers here. So, I've been having a little bit more issues with getting my uh, Dark Souls up and running. I've been trying to work on a couple different things, but whenever I start the game and try to sign in to my MSN Games for Windows Live situation, it doesn't seem to work out very hot. I keep on getting an error and it won't allow me to log in. It won't actually download my profile. Uh, something happens where you put in your login name, uh, your username, you put in your password, you submit, it says, hey, there's an update for you for the Windows Live. You go and you click on it, and it throws up an error, and you uh, get spit back out again. So after doing some research and spending about an hour trying out different tutorials and different uh, walkthroughs on how to fix this issue, here's a couple things to, that I found out and how I actually ended up fixing this issue. So for those of you out there uh, who actually have administrator access to your computers, what you want to do is you want to go, go to your control panel, click on over to, what is it, Administrator Tools, Services, and see whether or not the BITS service is actually there. Uh, when I was working on this and when I actually found this on out, the error that was related to it was BITS and it actually not existing. Now you can find out whether or not that's your situation in your case that you have to deal with by, what is this? Um, when I went and was doing this tutorial, it was saying you should just go and do the games for Windows Live set up on your own. And well, that's in order to get that up and running, uh, just go and do GFWL Live Setup or GFWL <laughs> I've Setup .exe into your browser and find the Games for Windows Live Setup that actually works for you. Download it and run it. Now, when you download and run it, it'll usually give you an error that says something along the lines of it's not working, uh, it's running into an issue, um, and it, it takes you over to a Windows. 7 screen and it kind of goes and says, oh, if you're running into this issue, just go to where uh, your service is and make sure that the BITS service is actually running. Now the problem that we're running into is that that service is no longer there. So how do we fix that? Well, what you need to do is you need to actually manually reinstall that service on its own. Um, what you can do, uh, also to let you know that if this is not running or the BITS is not running, you won't be able to do Windows updates either. So you'll probably run into that issue and notice that you have a lot of updates that are pending, but you can't actually run them. But never fear, we can get that up and running again. All you need to do is go to your, well, let's start over, go to Start, All Programs, uh, Accessories, right click on Command Prompt and select uh, Run as Administrator. And just copy and select. Well, this is going to be down in the description option. So just go copy and select this line right here and right click it and go to paste. And all you need to do is put this exact line on in there. When you hit enter, you'll get this response, which is create service success. Now, I'm not running it again because I already have the service up and running and I don't want to cause any issues because I finally got it working and I'm happy as shit. So that's what's going on with me. That's how I was able to fix it. That's how I got it up and running. And once I had that installed, go back over to services. Now, once again, uh, I'll just walk through it again. Start control panel, administrative tools, and then go on down to services, double click that. You will notice that your BITS is now there, readily and available. Uh, the status as it currently stands might not be started. So all you need to do is right click it and select it and change it from, uh, well, I'll go and stop it right now. Right click it, select start, and it'll begin running the command. It'll start it. And now you should be able to do your Windows updates as well as you should be able to double click your file. Uh, where did I put that bad boy? Uh, Games for Windows Live Setup, run it, and when you launch it, it should be good to go. Link on up, and you have now connected on up to Games for Windows Live, and that'll make it so that when you log back into Dark Souls, you're good to go, you're up and running, and you don't have any other issues connecting on up and getting the game working for you. Because once again, if you can't access that, you can't actually save your game, and if you can't save your game, then that makes you a very sad pony. So hope that helps. Uh, leave some comments for me if you guys need some additional help. Um, I'm doing the best that I possibly can with my current situation. This is what worked for me. It might not exactly work for you, but it's about along that path. I'll also put a URL in there of the page that I went to to find this. And so hopefully this information was helpful to you and uh, gets you back on your feet. Take care. So long. And see you guys.